Good morning, everyone. In this day, me and my partner will explain our project. Before we start it, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Tana. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Indonesia. And this is and this is my partner. My I, my name is Kian and I'm from Indonesia as well, and I'm 13 years old. So our project name is the abbreviate watch. So as everybody knows, COVID is a serious problem. It can kill many people and you cannot see where it is. You cannot see COVID. That's why it's a serious virus and you cannot ignore it. Many people do not know what COVID is. You cannot see it, so you cannot know where it is. It may be in your seat on table, when you're in a restaurant. You can see the amount of people that got COVID in the world, which is a lot of people. And also, COVID is very dangerous. It can give trouble concentrating, muscle and joint pain, and also coughing, obviously. That's very dangerous. Yeah, it's really dangerous. So we decide to make the abbrevi abbreviate watch to solve the problem. As we know, you cannot see the virus or mask of the germs with the naked eye, but you can with our project. It can use a mic microscope to detect germs and tell it to you so you can tell if there's a germ or not. This also applies to, to if people get too close to you, so you need to, to, to know to move a bit far because every now, everyone needs to do a social distancing right now since this COVID pandemic. What can it do? So our project can detect your temperature because you know if you get COVID, your temperature is pretty hot. Also, it can use the ultraviolet ray to kill germs which is germs are a big problem. Having also a heat detector to see how long has it been since someone has sit in a chair in a restaurant or something. Because as you know, a bacteria or a germ or a virus can last up to one week in a table or a chair or any flat surface. That's why you, can, you want to see if there's uh, other people that sat on that chair first so you can spray it. Also, you can use... AI to see how you how close you are to people. So basically, it's social distancing. You cannot be too close to people uh, or you're going to get COVID. Having a germ detector as well, so you can see if there's a germ or not in the seat or table. So you can spray it beforehand or you can change seats. And it's all easy to control using an app. So the positive impacts is less patient. Less patient in the hospital, meaning more people can be in the hospital. Rooms getting Medicaid for other disease. Helping other disease is very important since not only COVID-19 virus is deadly. Some other diseases are also deadly for human health. That's why we, we have to reduce the amount of people getting the disease to help give the people in the hospital a break after taking care of a lot of people. Traveling. Traveling is obviously not safe because of COVID. That's why our project can help traveling safer. For example, you can be more aware if there's a virus somewhere or if you're too close to someone and much more. There's a lot of things this can, thing can do and there's a lot of potential. I know it has. And the last one is less money loss. Because of this, of this, Shops and stores can open again, even though you cannot open it for too long, making less people get money. Increasing COVID can make a huge impact for people that are selling stuff in their stores since not many people have phones to make a digital shop. So having normal shops open will, will help out a lot. Actually, the positive impact from our project is still a lot. But the main impacts from our project is this. That's right. Also, our project uses AI, obviously. It's, uh, you can control it using an app, and an app uses AI. Machine, the project needs to know what it's detecting. You need to use AI to do that as well. That's why machines cannot do anything without AI, because AI is a thing that powers the machine, basically. AI against COVID, they were using AI to decrease COVID, even though we don't have the product yet. The concept that inspires some people 
because we're young, of course, we don't we don't have the money, we don't have the stuff to make the product. We can inspire some other people to make the product. Also, I have some concepts of this project. I made this in Scratch as a project. This is obviously not the real watch because we don't have the product, but this is this, this is an example. So this thing can scan the table and it will scan for the virus, as you can see on the screen. It will scan it. After it scans it, it detects it because there is a virus on the table and it says you're recommended to change seats or spray the seat beforehand to avoid you getting COVID, of course. Also, I made a thing to basically make it, this is a concept. Now, obviously it's inputting neutral because it's only me. But if I pull out a picture of a germ, it will input germ. This is basically like one of the detectors, like a concept of the detectors. So if there's a germ, it will detect the germ and it will output it and tell it to you that there is a germ on the screen or on the table, on, on whatever you want. That's our project and thank you for listening. Thank you.